of sunny days You rest my soul You make it easy to see the goal Of sunny days You rest my soul You make it easy to see the goal Of sunny Bring me down to a clean river Bury my burdens and quell this fever Leave me hollow and laughing the light Oh sunny, oh sunny, oh sunny, oh sunny I see the mountain and I know it's higher And tend to the embers and through that midnight fire And be breathless, stand stainless And touch the wild tameless, yeah Oh sunny day, oh sunny day, you rest my soul, you rest my soul, you make it easy to see the goal. Oh sunny day, oh sunny day, you rest my soul, you make it easy to see the goal. Oh sunny, take me over fields of yellow, sunny. Wash my body and lift me up so I can sing that long, long way back. Oh, 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 sunny, 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 Oh sunny day, oh sunny day, you rest my soul, you rest my soul, you make it easy to see the gold. Oh sunny day, oh sunny day, you rest my, you rest my soul, you make it easy to see the gold. Oh sunny, oh sunny, oh sunny day, oh sunny, you rest my soul, oh sunny, you make it easy. All right, thank you thank so you. much. That sounded wonderful. And now we're about to welcome the rest of everybody in. The rest Yay. of everybody, thank you for coming. Welcome um, our, our, the, the, the handsome gentleman, the yeah. rising gentleman of the crew. Let us uh, let's chat a little bit about the creation of that album. I know it was it's unlike the the workflow of any other record you've put yeah. out. Uh, can you talk a little bit how about how it came together, how it involves yeah. everybody, and just the the sort of magic that birthed it? Yeah, it's unlike any other album that we've ever done for sure. And we we all got together, this crew and our and our dear dear sixth member Aruna Diara, who's not with us today. Uh, we all got into the studio after the, a year of pandemic and. We hadn't seen each other. We literally hadn't been in a creative space or even been in each other's companionship for that whole year. And we we got together for a live stream recording and then we decided we were we were just we were starving really, I think, to create. Like really needed that expression. So we booked a second day in the studio and we said we'll just hit record and we'll track all day long and we'll just see what happens. We'll, we did a round robin of improv where each person would start a different track and then we would build on it. And that from that round robin, we, we, we parceled what we didn't think would become an album. And we were so excited about uh, that expression and what came out of that. So that became the, the most recent album. And we, I think it's our favorite really, you know. Cool. That's. I mean, that the one that you just did. That song has that vibe of a song that's been around forever. Like it, mm. you know, it could be from. It could be a traditional song from forever ago. It could be some uh, a gospel tune yeah. from the 1940s. You know, and um, and so I. It surprises. Uh, it surprises necessarily, but it's it's nice to know that those just came off the top of your head as opposed to having had all that time during the pandemic to write these songs and then bring them all in. The fact that it just happened yeah. spontaneously is very yeah. cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, we love that. We always love that about Gillian Welch. She does that so well. It's like, you, can you be contemporary but write old songs? Mm -hmm. And we grew up with traditional music in our house, and a lot of us grew up with traditional music. And so for songwriting, it's interesting to think about word choice and kind of can you make something that's new and fresh but that goes back. So that's one of our writing prompts for yeah, ourselves for sure, when for we sure. write new music. Nice. Well, I think you did it really well, and we're looking forward to hearing a lot more music. Um, there's another one off of the new record, Lost Mystique, The Lost Mystique of Being in the Know. Um, what do you want to do second today? Yeah. Catalyst, the top song. Here we go.
Well, this is wonderful. I love, we're getting used to a new space along with you at the yeah. same time. We've never worked in here. We've just arrived here a couple hours ago, as you did as well. Yeah. Um, it feels good to be here. And there's yeah. saguaro cactus right outside of the, the door uh, as soon as you get to the airport. And uh, we've got the metallic prickly pear guys here in the barn doors. It feels <laughs> like the Southwest, and we're yeah, in it right now. We're here. Um, can region. you talk a little bit about, I know um, you've just come to this festival for the first time, so not necessarily your thoughts on this particular festival but the region in general like being in the yeah. southwest and how the sunset and the stars and the mountains mm. and just the vibe of being in the southwest differs maybe the way you perform maybe the way you write songs versus when you're in Atlanta versus when you're yeah. anywhere really that's really real uh, I think everybody very much responds to our atmosphere and we talk about that a lot and you get out here and everything gets much more spacious you know and the sky mm -hmm is just this the set list that we put together today is is to really also for us to create that more spacious sound that kind of it's it's atmospheric and, and once you get adjusted to a desert sky everything else just feels cluttered the mountains the city you know it's just busy in there and yeah. that wide open space has always been really inspiring for us you know yeah yeah Man, it's, I, I woke up in Manhattan this morning, and yeah. so it's stark contrast, and it feels stark wonderful, man. Yeah. I'm very, very much having a good time, uh, so thank you for facilitating that good time. Thanks mm -hmm. to Gem and Jam for facilitating this good time. Mm -hmm. um, before we move on, I do want to know about the um, the arrangement that's on the mic. Is that... Um, this? That, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, what is that? A fan gave that to us the other day in Santa Fe. We played a show there, and it's uh, local wildflowers and dried flowers. Uh, and herbs. And, and herbs. We're often, Sage. yeah, there's, Sage. there's all kinds of things, but we're often brought local uh, m medicinal wild plants, and it's sort of our favorite thing to, to integrate into our sets and into our time in each place is, is kind of what grows wild. And so our, our fans are amazing at always adorning us with the things that come from their gardens and that's what this is it's our good. token to the desert yeah good well thank you for enhancing the vibe yeah. even more mm -hmm. and um we are we're only halfway through this session there's still two more we're going to go back to two from lay from lee lines um lay, oh my god i lay had it right lines. the first time lay lines. lay lines yes thank you very much uh lay lines two songs from that record what do you want to do uh third today well actually we're gonna stay in the lost mystique of being in the know oh good please for do. this next one and okay. then we'll close on something from ley lines but uh in the in the homage of the desert this is another one that was an improv from that album uh, and duncan gave us our 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 entryway into it, we would kind of track visualizations for each song, and it's uh, it's the track off of the new album called Silver. In the land of silver. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Thank you. So I was over here. I'm cutting between these cameras right now, and it's like I was just cutting to the wide a whole lot because it was like, dude, is David in the lead? Is Biko in the lead? Is yeah. is Duncan, Duncan in the lead? And the answer is yes. Like yes, yeah. that is the answer. And yeah, there's around. just it's a good problem to have from an editing perspective. To yeah. be like, dude, it's all happening and it's awesome. <laughs> all of it's awesome. Just cut to the wide, man. And those um, are fun. Like it just feels like the whole recording process and the performance process feels like we sort of enter. Uh, another world and we just are riding so that that's that's been really fun about the new stuff you know, we, so we got a, a chance to talk a little bit about the environment here and how how the southwest affects things but the, I mean the studio environment is an has an effect on um, on what comes out as well and we so paste was connected with day trotter for a long time and mm. day trotter used to run sessions from echo mountain oh, in in cool. Asheville. so i've never been there but i've heard a ton of recordings from there they always sound wonderful yes. and i oh, know yeah. that that was the the uh, location for for that the magic of this it. record yeah. can you talk a little bit about a bit about how that environment um, influenced you and added to the yeah. whole experience yeah, well, we we all have a foot in Southern Appalachia and, and a whole lot of roots and ancestry there. And uh, Echo Mountain is sort of the temple of, of recording in that region. And I remember when we were first starting our first couple of albums, we recorded, Chloe and I, in like great studio in New Orleans, a friend's basement, a, another t teeny one. And we were like, one day we're going to get to Echo Mountain. Mm -hmm. And it, it has been our, our kind of home studio for the last several uh, years and, and many albums and it it does it feels kind of like a temple you're in this almost cathedral space and you feel similar to here you know you feel the, the expansiveness of the room you know and, and we we've just had such dear friends to work with there so I think it feels really at home and when you're at home then you feel like you can unleash you know so we get wild in there and that track, last track, with a taste of what getting wild looks like for us. <laughs> we get crazy. <laughs> nice. Well, dude, we've got like cases and cases of canned water over there. So yeah. if you want to, we can get yeah. nuts wild. later. Wild. <laughs> wild in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it looks cases of water. It's our kind of green room. <laughs> Well, we've got, uh, there's still one more song coming up in the session. Um, what do you feel like doing for today? Duncan, our beloved cello player back there, did a cover of our song Resilient, which is one of our favorite songs to play, and it became really important during the past two years, obviously, because everyone's been going through so much. And he did a cover of this song, and we loved it. So now we're covering his, his cover, cover of our song, <laughs> of our song <laughs> Resilient. Um, it's a really beautiful version, so we'll play that version for you. Cover of a cover of a cover. Open 
to give and receive. Let's see the system right down to its knees. Whoa, 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 Chloe, Biko, Duncan, David, everybody for doing what you just did here. And have a great festival set that is at uh, 7 o'clock, just a couple hours from now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope you find something wonderful to eat and hang <laughs> out with the cacti and yeah. do yeah. everything you want to do in the Southwest. I know we're definitely going to do that. And we're, we're going to check out Saguaro National Park on Monday Ooh, and just hike around and nice. look at the cactus forest. And yeah. um, we hope to, we will be free of recording duties here by 7 o'clock. So we will be in the audience oh, for great. your set. Thanks and um, yeah, us. thank you very much. Are there? Do you have upcoming uh, tour date? You're in the middle of tour right now. Is that the truth? We're in the middle of a very small tour. We have uh, our tour schedule is growing and filling up uh, as we go, and we're excited to be back on the road, kind of in in beautiful sparse regional runs all the way through the rest of the year. And we're excited about all of them, and we have a lot of new music coming soon. So we there's... do have a final show in Albuquerque out here on Sunday. Yeah. So if you're in Albuquerque, come through. Yeah. Sweet. All right. We'll travel safely and thank you so much thank for doing you. this. Bye, All right. everybody. Yes, Bye. See you next time. That is that. We did it. Yeah.